It's not actual vision, it's uh, what they call out official vision. Every day, Anthony Andriatola puts on his gear, leaves his Medford home, and rides the tea to his job in downtown Crossing. Anthony has retinitis pigmentosa. He began to lose his vision in his teen. Once everything is black, uh, you know, for many, many years, that, that, that was it. For 20 years, he lived in darkness until he became one of the first to receive a bionic eye. This animation from the developer shows how it works. A tiny camera in the glasses sends images to a wearable computer. The images are processed and sent wirelessly to an implant on the eye. I don't see things the way other people do. I see everything in a uh, in different uh, flashes, lights, shapes. It's more of a cloudy black and white vision. I can tell the difference between a car or a bus or a truck. I can't tell you what make the car is. That helps him navigate life more safely. Well, I'm going by Rhodes Brothers and I can see that they have some tables set up and this is really a difficult place to navigate because there's always a lot of people and things change all the time. And here we are at St. Anthony's. And after his journey, he arrives at his job as a substance abuse counselor at St. Anthony's Shrine. I have my hope back. Once I lost my sight, I, I was resigned to be blind for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm not resigned to that anymore. You know, I, I believe if I, can, if I can live long enough, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, be able, I'll be able to see you know, uh, you know, a lot of beautiful things.